Today's What's Inside is in the Sunnyview Schoolhouse. This one-room country school was built in 1881, opened in 1882 in the town of Washington in Eau Claire County. Why is it here in Carson Park? And what does it look like inside? We're gonna go in and find out. We're about to walk into the cloakroom where students kept their coats, set their lunch pails. Um, there are two entrances because in the early days, boys and girls had separate cloak rooms. Later on, they did share and the other room was used for storage. In the main room, you'll see a teacher's desk, student desks, an American flag. This pot belly stove kept everybody nice and warm all winter. Families and students were required to bring the wood necessary to keep this room warm. In a one room schoolhouse, there was only one teacher. The teacher was responsible for all eight grades, ages five to 14. The younger students would sit in the front, the older students would sit in the back. When the older students were doing advanced lessons, the younger students could listen in and learn ahead. Being one teacher meant you taught all subjects. You'll notice the pump organ and the wind-up record player. This teacher had to teach art and music as well. The second cloakroom is now a history of Sunnyview. Sunnyview closed in January of 1961 when the township of Washington consolidated with the city of Eau Claire. The youngest students would be in have been born in the 1950s. Now we know what it looks like in Sunnyview School. However, you might have noticed there's no bathroom. Students and the teacher, even through the 50s, had to use an outhouse. And now that we're outside again, you'll see that we're very close to the Chippewa Valley Museum. However, the schoolhouse was here 10 years prior to the museum being built and area school children helped earn $1,500 to move the schoolhouse here and preserve it. Today, it's owned and maintained by the city of Eau Claire and Chippewa Valley Museum manages the building and provides volunteers to tell its story.